Okay, guys, I guess I'm live. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I am Tracy Reed. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new and you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I do see Linda is here. She's always waiting. Thank you, Linda. Super excited to get started today. Oh, I got it technical issue real quick. I do it every single time. I forget to shut the volume off on my iPad. Oh, all right, so I guess we'll chat a little bit, wait for some people to come in. I see there's a few people that are waiting um, patiently with me for everyone to get here. So I hope you all are doing great. Um, the new year has started. Everybody hopefully is getting back to some normalcy. I don't know. Oh, there's my phone. Let me shut that down. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Um, my mom has a habit sometimes of calling me now <laughs> during the middle of my live streams. So I will turn that off or down. Anyway. All right. So let's see who's no one's talking. <laughs> Linda, I think it's me and you, Linda. <laughs> you can have your own lesson today. That would be pretty sweet. Maybe I should do that. I should start doing that. What do you think? I could do some lessons. That would be fun. I know people do that. I know there's other artists that do that. It'd be fun. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know. Um, all right. So today I'm going to be talking about a few of my 3D printed products that I have designed um, with the help of my husband. Thank goodness, um, I'm I'm designing the functional part of it, and he's doing the rest. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't seen, these are my 3D printed cups. This one is the quad, um, and then this one actually isn't available yet. It's just a regular cup. I like to use this if I just want to um, do like a traditional pour and not have the dividers in there. I use this one a lot actually. Um, and then I do have my triple somewhere. Oh, there's a double. There's my triple. Okay. And then I have my triples also. Um, and then soon I will be getting the, the one I showed you, the, the one that doesn't have dividers, and then I will be getting the quads or the, the double listed soon. Um, my products have been taking off on my Etsy store, so I've been trying to keep up with orders. So if you guys have ordered, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's going crazy. Um, besides my cups, I do have my swipey tools. I'm so excited about these. They're flexible and they have this really cool handle on them. And they were available in three sizes. We just added the little um, three quarter inch. It's perfect. Look at that. So I've got the three quarter inch. I've got the one and a half inch three inch or four inch. No, that's three inches <laughs> and the six inch and they're, they're four inches in length. I kept thinking they're four inches. Something is four inches. <laughs> and soon, I'm not sure when these may be by, um, make on demand kind of a deal. Um, this one is eight, nine by eight, eight by nine. Um, my friend Kathleen Osmore just did a video using my swipe tools today. Her and I had a conversation about a week ago and, um, she wanted me to make her a bigger one. Um, but this is as big as we can make because of our print bed on our 3d printer. Now I did give it a try. So I think the video will be coming out with that swipe during the week, sometime probably Wednesday. Um, and I will be sending her one of these to try because uh, she 
thought it might be a good idea to have a bigger one. So I'm going to send her one of those. And then, of course, my little one, like I said, is new, uh, new addition, especially with the tree swipes people have been doing, which I haven't done yet. I'd like to give that one a try. This is kind of perfect for some of those um, branches on the tree. And then the last thing, well, let me say hello to everyone. Hi, Raymonda. Thank you for joining. Um, can everyone hear her okay? Oh, you typed that. <laughs> I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, let's see. Crafty Healing Art, Amira Rias. Thank you for joining. You're looking fabulous. Oh, thank you. I am growing this mop out. I know my husband's over there laughing. Um, yeah. Growing your hair out is kind of a pain in the butt, but whatever, I'm working with it, so I appreciate that because if I get a compliment, it's helping me not to chop it back off. So thank you. <laughs> uh, Jan, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. And Kara Ziegler, the art. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, your, your thing just popped up. You're still there, Kara. And Melissa. Hi, everybody. And then the last thing that I have, my 3D printed products, last um, for now is my swipe, or my, uh, oh my gosh, I can't, I lost blower. train of thought, my leaf blower, mini leaf blower attachment nozzle. And I don't know where my leaf blower is, it's in the other room. Um, I told my husband when we first got, before we got the printer, that this was something that I wanted to help. Uh, to get this created we did the split cups first just because they were a bit a little bit easier um not really um people get a 3d print printer and think that it's uh easy it's it's really not there's a lot that goes into it so thank goodness he's more of the brains behind that but it's super cool and you just oh is that on you just push it on and then you turn it and it goes right on so it's pretty easy you don't want to like you know, force it on there. You just do it kind of easy and then twist it and it's it's perfect. So I love this thing. I use it for blooms. Um, and then just if I want to do something small, it's, it really kind of concentrates that into, instead of the whole, you know, the not the regular nozzle, which I don't even know where my regular nozzle is. Um, it's more round and it just blows it. This is flattens it out a bit. So it's kind of cool. I really do like that. Um, I use it. It's great for smaller stuff like tiles or, or smaller canvas. Um, I like it. It's fun. So just to let you guys know, too, if you go to my Etsy store, which the link is in, will be in the description or is, maybe. Um, we'll get it there if it's not. Um, some of the products are going to be out of stock. I can't keep everything in stock right now. Two more machines are coming. They should be by the end of the month, and then I'll be able to keep up a little bit better. So bear with me. If there's something you're interested, you can always message me on Etsy as well. And I can get, to, I usually answer pretty quickly, um, unless I'm knee-deep in um, packaging up stuff. <laughs> and then I'll get to you as soon as I can. All right, so I'm going to do two paintings. I'm going to try two anyway. And I'm going to use two split cups. Not this one. Um, I'm going to use two of my split cups. And then the second one, hopefully, I'll be using the swipe tools. Um, and these are for sale or sold. I don't want to use those. I have a bunch of uh, ones that are mine. I actually have all of these in here. <laughs> Some of these are like pests and misprints that I get. I get all of them, which is not a bad thing. So I'll do that later. All right, so um, I wanted to show you guys really quick, too, a painting I did last night. And this one um, was kind of a test. Uh, I had some leftover paints from the swipe that I did. And I took my cloud mix. If you guys are, you know, have watched me before, you know I love a good cloud pour. So I took um, my cloud effect mix and Santa got me something that I was super excited about. Um, oh, there we go the Vallejo Pearl Medium. So I mixed some of the Vallejo in with my cloud mix, which I mix. I changed my cloud mix up a bit. I usually go, I used to go two parts, equal parts of the bear and of the bear sand enamel and the artist loft. 
So I changed it up a bit and I only put one part bare satin enamel, two parts artist loft, and then two parts of my pouring medium, which is Liquitex, Floetrol, and water. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it'll probably roughly the same um, if you go with Floetrol and water, it would be about the same. And then all I did was I put like, because I made a whole big cup of it, I put like two generous squeezes, like, you know, generous, because the stuff is gorgeous. And then I did have to add a little bit of water just to, because this is thick. So I added, um, actually I added a little bit more pouring medium to that. So I didn't measure because <laughs> I was just testing. So I can get measurements, you know, a little bit more accurate uh, later on. Um, but this pearl uh, medium is super cool. I love it. I love it. So this painting again was kind of a test. I did um, a split cup using this cup and then another cup I put the pouring or the the cloud effect mix with the pearl vallejo and I did that with it and it really is super pretty now I know you guys can't really see it but there's these gold because I used gold in here as well I think it was gold I'm not sure it was a mixture a couple golds I mixed together but there's these fine little gold and green wispies in there and you can see these like fingers almost like I don't know fingers I guess little creepy kind of fingers but it's real soft and it has like a haze over it so I really really love this one um this again will be in my video on Wednesday you'll be able to see some better photos of it and it's just super super pretty so I'm gonna try this again with that pouring medium and with other colors these all these colors I used in this one are mixed with the pearl uh, medium and the ones I'm using today are not. They're going to be just regular um, regular colors without the pearl me medium. And I'm kind of curious to see how, you know, how that reacts with this cloud effect. So there's that. Um, okay, so I, yeah, I'll just leave that. The colors that I'm going to be using in my split cup, I've got the Liquitex Basics Gold. Let me find it. I rearranged. Um, so now i got to remember where I put everything. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. I've got the Liquitex Basics. Is that upside down? That way. Okay. So that's the um, Liquitex Basics Gold. I like to sometimes use a lighter gold. I, I mean, I do like the Deco Art 24 Karat, but sometimes it just is too much and it tends to take over. So I like to use that. Or even um, Soho makes a nice soft gold. So does um, Amsterdam and uh, Arteza does as well. So let me get these other colors somewhere. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I'll just tell you what they are. Um, Liquitex, I've got the Quinacridone Magenta. And oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my cat likes to go and jump up on my TV table. I have a really big TV table, and he goes up and rubs on my Apple HomePod and turns the music on. Like, he will does it in the middle of the night. He does it all the time, so my husband just had to go in and shut it off. <laughs> um, anyway, so the next one I'm using is Teal, and that's, oh, he's got me back up here. And that one is from the Fine Touch. And then also we've got uh, Liquitex. Uh, this is Professionals Heavy Body. It's um, a Prussian Blue Hue. So I like a nice dark, dark blue, um, and that's a really pretty one as well. And then, of course, I've got the Cloud Effect mix in my cup with the Pearl, pearl Medium. I'm going to move this out of the way real quick. Um, and what I plan on doing is I'm going to fill my cup with the colors, and then I'm going to put the um, Cloud Effect in this one, and then they should, you know, I'm going to do a, a kiss pour. Um, so I don't know what you guys think about this purple color. I don't, um, we just got some and I don't know if I actually sold any. I don't think I had them listed yet on my Etsy shop, but let me know what you guys think because we just got more of this in stock. Um, so I think we'll probably be printing some in purple as well. Sometimes it's hard with the company. Sometimes it's out of colors and I don't like to offer so many because it's just, you know, too many colors. 
you have to keep changing and you know all of that with the with the material so let me know what you guys think i guess i should look at my chat here i've been chatting and i i'm hoping i'm not in i don't want to ignore you guys so um let's see sonia hello kathy melody i got it i got it right today warlord of art oh that sounds cool uh let's see kathy i wonder if that was who just messaged me on my <laughs> etsy i got a message from kathy oh okay my husband's handling that um linda of course is here I do too with red gorgeous okay I think I hope it and there I go knocking everything over I hope I Rick hello Rick Melissa Jan I think I got everybody Sonia I said Sonia okay hi guys glad you're here today taking time out of your Sunday afternoon um, I am doing a little day drinking. I've got my <laughs> my sweet red wine I'm just gonna take a couple little sips and then I'm gonna get my apron on and we can get started with the painting I do have to show you I got this really cool wine glass my husband had printed up and it says house read on it and it's got this etched it's etched in you know they did etching and it's like Game of Thrones with the Targaryen um, dragon super cool because I love Game of Thrones and if you've watched my live streams from before, you've probably seen that I have three or four different Game of Thrones goblets that I love. So anyway, I'm going to move this painting really quick. And I'm going to be working on the, the smaller one. This is a 12 by 12 that I'm using. i got to make sure that it's level. Um, I did double, or I checked it earlier, but all right, we got it. I don't like an unlevel canvas. Every once in a while, it still happens, but. I'm going to set aside the label for the Kathy Thorne makeup. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if I said what I've mixed. My The paints that I keep over here in my um, containers are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which I keep in this jug, which looks ridiculous. It's filthy, but whatever, it still works. Um, and then I've got my amounts on the side. <laughs> That's true. It could, it could apply to my husband too. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, cause I make it in, you know, large quantities and it's Liquitex, uh, pouring medium, Floetrol and water. And I usually go more Liquitex than Floetrol. Um, so that's just how I work. Now, when I do my swipes, I mixed those colors differently. So I will talk to you about those when I get to that. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my apron on, or as my husband likes to call it, a smock, which it's not. And Julie's not here to argue. So, that's right, so, I win. so he thinks he wins, but he doesn't. Hey, Lori. Hey, someone from Sweden, Yasmin. Where? I missed that one. Oh, Yasmin from Sweden. Ooh, hello, Yasmin. I will send a message through Etsy. Kathy, okay. My husband is handling that. So, all right, so I'm going to get my apron on. It's getting warm, so I'm going to take my sweatshirt off real quick. Ugh, over here. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. There we go. Okay. That's probably my hair just went all over the place. I have visitor special guests in the studio today, Freya and Hazel. <laughs> Freya and Hazel are here. Hi, Hazel. What's going on? They're a little mad at me. The neighbor got a, a new puppy and they smelled sully on me. They aren't too happy about that. Okay, you're in the mom's way. I gotta get over here. Okay, go over there, Fat. Go on, go over there. Okay, I call her Fat. She doesn't know. I say it in a nice, loving voice because she is a little on the chunky side. So, but she's happy, so that's all that matters. She's a little, watch your tail, Freya. She, her tail goes over, so when she, when she wags it, it goes across my table, and sometimes she gets paint on her tail, and... I try to keep my painting far enough away that she doesn't hit it. So, all right. So, I need some gloves. 
Gotta have my gloves. All right, I'm gonna show you guys to the um, consistency of my the cloud effect mix that I have. That way, you guys can see that. Um, oh, he's handling that. What? You're talking on there. So I don't know if you guys can see that as well, but it's um, when you when I lift my stick out, I like that there's just a stream it doesn't break and then it there's a um a mound and then it kind of disappears quickly sort of quickly not immediately and i know i've been told that you know my paints seem to be a bit thicker than most i don't like them to be like water so there's that um let me get the lids off of these make sure when i don't use them um, often, well not often, but if they sit for a minute, I, I usually will, I don't know if you can see this, I'll take it and I kind of roll it like this, and then like that, because I don't like to um, put too many too, uh, air bubbles in right before I am uh, going to use it. Now, the last painting that I did yesterday, the one I had just showed you, I had just mixed up that cloud effect mix and there was air bubbles. But when I popped them, they kind of really look cool. So I didn't mind them that much. Sometimes they work for the painting. Sometimes they don't. But anyway, let's see. I've got not much left in that. We'll probably use that up. But what I like to do, anyway, I had lost my train of thought. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> my husband's over there shaking his head. Is I'll come in here if I haven't used my bottled paints. And I give them all a good shake like every couple days. Because they'll start to separate. Especially like my... Um, metallic oh. and hazel and I don't know if you can hear I have marbles in the uh, metallic ones and then I give them a good shake because that kind of helps stir it up now the problem that with that is sometimes when I go to oh, I don't have a marble in this one when I go to dump it and it's at the end the marbles will fall out so you gotta be careful of that so just an FYI which I have seen a couple marble a couple um, videos with People have put marbles on the canvas and rolled it around. It was kind of, you know, whatever, I suppose. To each his own. Um, am I caught up on the chat? Oh, another thing, guys. Um, make sure in the chat that you're on live chat and not top chat because top chat kind of, sometimes you don't get all the messages, all the chats on there, I guess. And there is a little bit of a delay, so, because I forgot to tell you all that. Um, all right, I'm going to get my gloves on now. Sometimes I poke my fingernails right through the end of my gloves. I noticed yesterday when I was working on that one painting, my thumb, get my fingers in there. Um, my thumbnail was, tip was stick, sticking out um, from my glove, so... All right, so I think, let me see how I'm going to do the order. I think I'm going to do them in this order, in that order. All right, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, I don't think I'm going to fill this as full because a 12 by 12 roughly takes about 6 to 8-ish ounces. So, um, I mean, I don't want to waste too much. So, because I'm going to put the cloud effect mix in this cup here. I mean, I could pour it straight out of here, but I want to show you guys how I do the cloud. Well, I guess you're here too. I forgot. You can do the cloud or the kiss pour with these and it works really, really good. Um, okay. So I will start with the gold. Um, let me move these because I might knock them over. Get them over here. And I do find, though, sometimes that when you're doing a ring pour, um, depending on what, where, hold on, so, sorry guys. When you're doing a ring pour and you don't want like a lot, a lot of cells. Because if you use a lot of Floetrol, that tends to kind of encourage the cells. So a lot of times when I'm doing ring pours, I don't use, 
I just use my regular pouring medium because there's more Liquitex than there is Floetrol. Now I do still get cells because of the um, the different densities of the paints because that always plays into it as well. Um, but again, I try to use my regular pouring medium when I am doing these. So let's see. These are some of my favorite colors. I always, it's like a, a go-to color palette, I guess. Maybe I need to, I do like purple as well. Maybe I need to come out with a five split. That's what my husband said. Do I need to come out with a five split? But this is good for now. <laughs> Pretty good for now. All right, that should be good. I don't have it completely full. I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'll put that over here. I'll clean those up in a minute. These are six ounce cups, but again, I'm not filling them full. Uh, because this is a smaller canvas and it doesn't need it. Um, so I'm probably just going to dump all of this into here and we'll see how it goes. When I did the one yesterday, I had a bunch left over. I think I'm wiping paint on my forehead. Or I just wiped paint on my forehead. <laughs> oh, crummy. Okay, so I'm just going to dump this in here. Um, now I'm hoping what happened is last night I forgot to put a cover on that cup. And I mixed it, so I'm hoping that I got all the kind of, because it had a, a seal, like a, it started to dry, so I had a skin over the top. So I hope I got all that out. I might find a random clump in there. So hopefully not. We'll just say a quick prayer that there is not a clump in painting. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Julie, the spammer. Yep, yep, yep. How many ounces? Okay, I already got that. Ounces, ounces. So there's probably, I'm going to say... I've probably got about eight ounces of paint total right now. We'll see. Well, we won't. I'm just guessing. That's what's going to be. <laughs> All right. So what I try to do when I do a kiss pour is I try to get both kind of right together there and then get them to kind of come out at the same time. There we go. I love a good kiss pour. And then I'm just going to travel it a little. Now, I feel like I can't breathe because <laughs> these for me are a little bit difficult. Um, it's not that they're difficult. It's just I'm not very steady. So, oh, there's that teal. Okay, I was wondering when that was coming out. So, um, I always feel like I'm shaking when I do it. But you can see how it's making those cool little like fingery things. It looks awesome. Awesome sauce. It's one of my fave words. Whatever you say, love. And honestly, when you're doing this, it just feels like there's so much paint in here. It's like never ending. It feels like more than when you're doing it just out of a regular cup. It's like, why is there so much paint in here? But, you know, it works. Just got to keep going with it. I think I am going to just go ahead and kind of let this go here in the middle. Because I feel like I was just holding my breath the whole time. See, and this is a cool thing about these split cups is if you see something that looks cool, you just go with it. I mean, you can move it around and you can create all these cool designs. It's awesome. I know, I'm holding my breath. Can you, are they watching me do that? I'm... Ah, I had a drip, dang it. Okay, now what I do when I'm done, I just wipe this right there real quick um, and usually have him go put it in water. 
but um, it's still going to get, even if you wash it right away, it's still going to get, you know, some stains on there. But um, you can see that I all I had was that little bit right there. It did not go down here, which I love. I love, I love. All right, so there is a lot of the white, which I knew there would be. So hopefully I'm going to spread it out and it should open everything back up because I lost a lot of the color. But it's got some cool, cool designs going on there. Um, if you notice, my husband, the lighting, my husband's messing around with lights. It's kind of bright, he said. So that middle looks kind of cool, except for where I dripped that paint. All right, I'm going to go back to the middle, and then I'm going to stretch it this way. A little bit. But I don't want to lose, the, yeah, I don't want to lose that real quick. Sounds like. Toby's crying. The cat's crying. So if you hear meow, he's a crybaby. He's mad because the music got shut off, probably. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to dump some of this off because I want to kind of stretch that more because you can see that the colors are starting to come out. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Was he trying to come in here? Oh, okay. Preemptive, right? Now I gotta get that other corner. Looks pretty cool. Let me get this other corner real quick. Well, it's for sale, my love. <laughs> it's for sale. I just remember that I was you know, at the farmer's market or at the art store and saw that and said, yeah. Well, he's lucky. He gets all of this art in his house. He doesn't have to pay for He pays just a different way. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm going to try to get that back that way. I liked how that was looking. I love how these colors had blended right here. I've got some purple in there. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to go overboard just a little bit here and then pull it back. Trying to stretch out those colors a bit. Okay. Now, a lot of times, what happens too is the white the colors will come up through the white a little bit more. But I do like that. I like this kind of cool design. It looks very cloudy. The teal is pretty stand, standing out quite a bit. All right. I'm going to have to have you go put that in some water, please, sir. All right. I'm going to make sure that I go around the bottom of it with... I'm just using my gloved finger this time. Usually I use my um, uh, palette knife or whatever, but you use whatever you can. That gold is really soft and pretty, so I do like that. All right, let me see what we got here. Um, Let's see. Happy for you that many artists are using your split cups. Yes, I'm happy too. I'm happy too. I mean, they're... I mean... I'm going to toot my own horn because Julie told me I'm allowed. But these are a really good cup. <laughs> They're a really great cup. So um, I put a lot of time and money and researching and everything into. You know, I've, I bought several cups, you know, and, and tested them and stuff. And then we designed something based on what I liked. So, which, you know, I'm an acrylic pourer. So it's. I know that other acrylic pours will like that as well. That's mainly why it was designed. So, all right, I'm going to go over it. And there may be a few air bubbles, but there shouldn't really be. Yeah, there's none in there. So, let's double check that. And the colors in here are really, really 
uh, softer, of course, from that white. But the the pearl medium made the cloud effect a little shiny. It's got that pearly look to it. So it's pretty. I like it. I do like it. So let's see. I'm going to move that out of the way. It's got some really, really pretty uh, lines and the colors blended really nice. I like that. I like it. I like it. What do you think, love? What are you thinking? Love it. Huh? Good. He always says that. Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't really. Okay, let's see. That's it. That's it. Okay. I'm going to take a drink now. Take a drink now. Because the harder one is coming up, at least the harder one for me, just because I'm all, when I do a swipe, I'm always like... <sighs> Put a few in for me. I don't know. I don't think so. There's like an eyeball right there. Yeah, I got a few little little things popping up. So developing, if you will. All right. Great pour. Thanks, Julie. Kathy, thank you. Crafty. Crafty. Why did I think it said Kathy? I'm sw I'm going she, blind. She was crafty. Uh, crafty healing. Yeah. Crafty Healing Art. That sounds like a soothing channel. And Jen and Yasmin. Oh, thank you. Dreamy Clouds. Yeah, that's what I think, too. They're kind of dreamy. Dreamy-like. And I'm really surprised, though, that my gold didn't take over. Because even using, sometimes using a softer gold, it does tend to. But I will say that the Liquitex... Uh, basic soft gold doesn't for the most part it usually doesn't it's that darn 24 karat gold from deco art that's the one that likes to take over everything so all the deco art um, ones do but i love their metallics so so we'll see how this dries i like how these colors are coming up through here it's kind of different i guess you know i could just you know It reminds me of a colander pour I did once that was real dreamy, cloudy like that. So, I love this purple. I do like the purple. I think the teal is the only one that kind of really stuck around, and that was the one that was at the end. It was on the end. I thought the middle ones might be more dominant, but they're not. Yeah, I'm going to, well, I can just leave it here and then move it in a minute. Yeah, we can chat for a minute if you guys want to, and then I'll get to the swipe. I'm going to take my gloves off for a second. Yeah, check in, see if you guys have any questions about about this pour in particular, about, um, you know, my paints that I used in this one, the cloud effect mix, and what? Any of my, yeah, my cup or whatever, any of that. I'm gonna set that over here and then I can get my breathing back to normal because I held my breath for a while <laughs> on that one Jan love the color oh dreamy clouds yeah she said that was beautiful all right oh Yasmin really beautiful yes thank you I'm curious to see how this one dries though as well because um it's kind of dominant. The other one dried kind of soft, but yet had a little uh, shimmer to it. So that's the pearl medium. It really does make, when you add it to other colors, I mixed it in, in that one with um, Payne's Gray, Prussian Blue, an emerald from Soho, which is a divine. It was gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and it just lightens it up and gives it that nice shimmery look. Oh, so pretty. So let's see. Nothing. Not one question. Not one. Julie? Or at least a statement. <laughs> what do you use in the cloud mix? Okay, cool. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things um, that I love to do. It's one of my favorite pours. Cloud pours, a kiss pour. I love it. So... I use the Bare Satin Enamel 
and it is the paint and primer in one and the color I think is ultra pure pure white ultra pure white that's the one I use it's house paint um, when I first started doing the cloud pours which was a couple years ago um, the first one I think I saw was Melly D most of you probably know unheard of her she did does did both amazing cloud pours and she used the deco art satin enamel and I used it in the very first one I did I well I used it in several um, but it's it was a little bit more expensive you know when you buy um, you know these it comes in the, the the container like this of course that's not the satin enamel that's the um, emerald from deco art oh I love this color anywho um, let me get my other paint real quick. Ugh. Anyway, they were like, I don't know, $12 or something for that little eight ounce thing. So I thought about using house paint. And I was at, I don't know, Home, I, it was home Depot, I think is that carries bear. And I found this one. And I started playing around with different mixes. And I mix it with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And I got my mix, and then I, I think I just, I told you guys that I did adjust it a little bit, but it works. It works really good. I mean, you can see it's not quite the cloudy, um, you know, I mean, it's cloudy. You can see it in here. It's a little bit different because of the way that I poured it, because normally I'll pour it in just a regular ring, um, but this, I kind of gave it some uh, different design, I guess. Um, but that's what I use, and then I mix it one part of the bear, two parts of the artist loft, and then two parts of the pouring medium. Now my pouring medium does tend to be a little bit thinner than Floetrol, so you may have to adjust. Now what I always tell everyone, because I get this question a lot, when you're mixing your paints, always start out with a ratio of one to one, because Every paint is different, especially from company to company to kinds of paint. You have a, a, a crap colors even. Yes, the ones that I mixed up um, later or for the next uh, swipe that I'm going to do, I can tell you those were different. I the same same brand, but the colors were different and I needed different amounts of pouring medium. So when you ask an artist or what their ratio was, we can kind of tell you. Um, but it's not always exact. You've got to kind of, you know, play with it yourself and experiment a little bit. So, um, I can always try to give you roundabout, um, amounts, I guess. So anyway, one-to-one -one is the best way to start because if you have a craft paint and you, then you are using a even, um, the Extreme Sheens, for example, which is what I a couple that I used in my next one. I guess I can talk about those then. The I'm using the Aquamarine and then the Antique Bronze, and I'm also using the Copper. So when I mixed the Antique Bronze, I went a ratio of one to two. One part paint to two parts pouring medium, which I use these. This is how I, I measure. I pour the whole thing of paint in the cup, and then I fill this with my pouring medium. Two of those. When I did the antique bronze, I needed almost three um, different densities of paint. Makes a difference in the pouring medium as well. And then the the cop copper was the same as the um, aquamarine, which was one part paint, two parts pouring medium. And then when I mixed up, I also used Sahara Gold from Folk Art. That was only one part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium. So. Again, it's kind of best to start with one-to-one -one and go from there. And now I did add a little bit of water to each one as well. And I only used Floetrol in those. And I did a little something different. I used, I put it away. Where did I put it? I put a generous squirt of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish in those paints. I'll tell you about it again when I do it. But I was trying a little something different with, um, with my pouring medium mix for that, for the swipe. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different and see what happens. So 
Uh, let's see, Melody, very pretty Tracy. I love my cup. Sweet. Um, oh, Flying Rosebuds, Heidi from Germany. Hi, Heidi. I used to have a record that had a song, Hi, Heidi, when I was little. I used to play it over and over on my record player. Me and my sister. Hi, Heidi. That was the song. <laughs> uh, let's see. Really a great cloud pour. Thank you. And thank you. I should look at. Oh, my husband answers some of them for me, so appreciate that. All right. And if you guys ever have any other questions, you can always message me on Facebook. You can email me. I think uh, it's Tracy L. Reed at iCloud.com. I have people message me there as well. Send me photos of um, some of their paintings that they've done and ask me questions and stuff. And um, my Facebook group, if you don't have, uh, if you're not a member of that or belong to that, it's Acrylic Pouring with Friends, the same name as this channel. And uh, you can always uh, message me there uh, as well. And there's a ton of very knowledgeable uh, people in my group that are so helpful. A lot of times I don't even have a, get a chance to answer and there's already 20 people that have already answered. Julie Rossiter is one of them. She's pretty knowledgeable as well um, and very helpful. So I appreciate everybody that is in my group that helps everybody. It's a drama-free group. Um, I do, I don't put up with anything. <laughs> we don't deal with politics. We don't deal with any of the crap. There's too much of it going on in the world that we don't, we need, you know, we can go to a group and, and just show our art and not have to worry about all the crap going on. I don't care what political affiliation you are in. When you come into my group, we don't, we don't talk about that. We don't care. We just show our art. That's what that's supposed to be about. So I don't tolerate anything. I people get booted for their nonsense. And if they don't like it, then that's just the way it is. Don't cause drama in my group and we'll all, it'll all be great. That's all there is to it. Don't cause drama because no one likes it. We just want to see art. We just want to post our art and that's that. Share it, ask questions and all of that. Learn because even I've been doing it for, you know, a little over three years and I still, I don't know everything. I'm still learning from other people. Everybody does something different. What are you pointing at? Oh, I don't know. I said something. Anyway, um, oh, I said that I don't know everything about art. I had to clarify to him. So, you know, we all we all teach each other and help each other. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it should be. Oh, all right. So, amen to that. I knew she. I knew you would say that, Julie. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Oh, you know. Yeah, I won't go into that. I won't go into that. It's, it just gets, when there's drama, there was some yesterday and we don't need it. It's just about the, it's just about the art. That's all there is to it. So I am going to, I think, move this painting and then I'm going to get my other canvas ready so I can do my swipe, which I always, again, I always kind of get nervous because, um, oh, Ebenezer, I didn't even say hello. Sorry about that. Hello. Um, anyway, I tend to get a little more nervous. When I do the swipes, um, I don't know if maybe it's just because it's the lives. That could be it. That's probably it. But whatever. Um, yeah, let me put my gloves on. Let me get this moved. And there's that. Don't turn it. I have it to set a certain way. Yeah, there you go. He's being helpful. He's trying to separate a little bit there. Oh, I had this set up differently. Oh, I just touched my iPad. Well, I was going to do the other one first, so I had everything moved for for that. I just got paint on my iPad. Oh, well. It's just the case. All right. Let me get some paper towels out here. Wipe my... I don't know why I need to wipe my gloves off, but whatever. All right. So, let's see. I, you guys saw the colors. I'm going to take the, the lids off. You can see I've got my, my press and seal. I love this stuff. I only discovered it like a few months ago. Well, maybe longer than that. Maybe six or so months ago. I love this stuff. I don't know where it was hiding this whole time. It's great stuff. You just take it off and 
you go and I stick it on the side of my table and then I can use it later. Ebenezer, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's very helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, I don't know if you realize that. Every little bit is very helpful to my channel. Um, so I do appreciate it. Um, real quick, too, guys, I don't normally talk about it, but I do have a channel membership. I'll just mention it real quick um, just because I did get a super chat. And I don't get those often, and I do really appreciate it. Um, I do have, again, I have a channel membership. It's only $1.99, and it's a great way to support um, any of your artists, any YouTuber um, that you like. Um, and it's, it really is greatly appreciated. I do have a few members. Um, and so I do appreciate if you are a member, I do appreciate and thank you so much for that. And you can also, a way to help me if you can't monetarily, that's, that's fine. Sharing is so helpful. Liking, subscribing to your favorite channels just really does help when you give it a thumbs up and you share it. It's more people that see it and, and it, it helps. It really does. So I do appreciate all you guys for doing that. So that's my little spiel. Thank you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> All right. These paints are super pretty, and I haven't used the Aquamarine in a while. I did an open cup, oh, my gosh, a couple years ago with it. Um, it turned out a little crazy, um, and I ended up adding – it's hanging in my husband's office, and I added some um, – what are those? Steampunk. Uh, gears to it. Oh, it turned out super, super cool. So anyway, that's what happened to that one. All right. So again, I'm going to go over the um, colors really, really quick because I kind of went over them a little bit faster. And um, I've got four. Well, um, oh, here it is. I need this one. Got it. So the first one I'm doing, I'm using three Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Uh, if you guys haven't used the Antique Bronze, it's divine. It is such a pretty color. I love it. And um, that's that one. <laughs> and then the Copper, of course. I love that. And actually, the Extreme Sheens are really comparable to the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. They pretty much are. Uh, I mean, almost the same thing. They're the, 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 the ones that are in the, the bigger one, the pot, I guess. Um, are a little bit thicker, but the colors are pretty close to the same. They probably are the same. They just renamed it. I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> so uh, the next one is the Aquamarine. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Ooh, <laughs> Aquamarine, super pretty. And then uh, this one is Sahara Gold from Folk Art. It is really pretty. Don't mind them in the background. They're talking nonsense. So anyway, I'm going to, oh, the last one I'm using is Amsterdam Black. And that is going to be my cell activator that I'm going to use to swipe with. I was debating if I wanted to, I keep putting my elbow <laughs> in the paint drips on the end of the table. I'm going to have painted elbows. Um, yeah, the Amsterdam Black is what I'm going to use in the middle to swipe with. Um, and that is mixed with Floetrol in water only. Not much water, just like a few drops. And I don't have any, it's, there's no, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh my God, I can't even think today. What is wrong with me? I don't have any uh, anything else added, wood conditioner or anything else um, added to that. It's just the um, Amsterdam. And I use lamp black. Um, there's different blacks you can use. I like the lamp black. It's a carbon. It's a more of a carbon black. It's the same thing. It's more of a black. Um, whereas some of the other blacks have more of a blue, um, a blue tint, and they're they're they could be more grayish. Mars black. So um, anyway, I like that one. Now I do use Mars black from um, Artist Loft, which I do like as well. So, um, but for this one, it's Amsterdam because the Amsterdam paint seem to um, be great for the bloom and creating the cells um, in those techniques. So anyway, again, I'll go over really quick how I mix the paint. Oh, I almost hit my wine glass. 
I think that's a sign I need to take a sip real quick. I see. Tammy. Sorry, I was in the middle of swallowing my wine. Hey, Tammy, I'm glad that you could join us today. Better late than never. You're in in uh, on time for the second one, so that's cool. So let me get a couple stir sticks here. And I don't know if you guys can see. That is my consistency. Now, I did, um, could you do the top one? Oh, the, okay. There we go. Now, these are a little bit thinner than my regular paints that I use. Um, I made them a little bit thinner today for some reason. It just happened. It just happened. That's all. There's no, there's no real reason. It just happened. So here you can see it, it's a little mound. It comes straight off the stick. It, there's no break in it. And it's a little mound. And then it's gone. You can see it, and then it's gone. So, so we will see. Yeah, pretty good, love. All right, let me wipe that off real quick. I'm not going to show you every one because they're all the same, but I am going to. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can do it. There's. It looks like there may be some air bubbles in here, so I'm not going to be real happy about that. But swiping them will help kind of clear those up, hopefully, and then I'll just use my torch to go over them it doesn't always guarantee that you get rid of all of them but you know it's part of the whole thing I wasn't I, I don't know why last night I usually try the day before a couple days before when I'm gonna do a live to get my get my act together <laughs> but for some reason I waited um no I'm gonna sit back down well I'm going to stand up in a minute because I'm gonna start so just go ahead. Yeah, do, do what you gotta do. Um, now I lost what I was gonna say. I should have maybe had coffee. Coffee may have helped instead of wine, but it's always helpful too. All right. Um. Oh yeah, mixing. That's what I was gonna tell you. So I mixed them with the Floetrol, and then I added like two generous squirts of the, I put it away, the um, late uh, blah, 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 Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Now, I've had this for a while, and I've never used it. I don't know why I've never used it, so I thought today would be great. Um, just because I wanted to add that. I do like using Liquitex. It adds just a little extra shine to it, and um, that's that. But the Floetrol does help promote cells. It doesn't it's not like a surefire thing, but it does help promote the cells. And if people tell you it doesn't, it's, it does. It, it's not a guarantee, but I think when mixed with the right, um, the, the right paints, especially metallics, they're pretty good. So what is my phone doing? My watch is going crazy right now. Okay, so I'm going to knock those... I'm going to knock these and try to get some of the air bubbles out a little bit. And then um, my Amsterdam, I think I forgot to tell you how. I feel like I'm a little all over the place, guys, so I apologize. <laughs> I did not sleep very well last night um, between the my bedmates, which all have fur. <gasps> Husband included. Um, we're all over the place. I couldn't sleep very well, so... Needless to say, that's what I'm blaming it on. Anyway, so the cell activator that I'm using is mixed with one teaspoon of the paint, the Amsterdam, with three tablespoons of Floetrol, and then I add a little bit of water. Usually when I say a little bit, it's either like a half a cap full. Um, this is what I keep my water in, and I use the water out of our water dispenser thing. Um, and then I just, you can see there's paint everywhere. It's filthy. And I actually, I actually melted it with the hot water once. So it's, it's in bad shape, but I usually just fill it. I've discovered, um, you know, because I did it once where I went to dump a little bit and my hand went like that and then I dumped way too much in. So I usually do it by the cup full or another thing that's helpful are the pipettes. You just stick it in there and then you just squeeze a little bit out at a time. Um, I find that the cap is better. This is if you just need like a few drops. 
then it's more precise. So there's that. I'm getting all technical on you guys right now. That's as far as my technicalness goes. So that's that. It's Sunday. We're day drinking too. So we all need it. Literally every single person in this world needs it. <laughs> Everybody should be. Gift to the bottle of wine. Everybody should be in their in their their monies should be wine a wine um what do you a voucher for <laughs> ABC wine well whatever liquor store you got near you. The Publix, Walmart, liquor store, whatever it is, we should all be have a, a, a alcohol voucher to go along with our stimulus checks. Oh, I need to talk to someone about that. I'm going to get the president on the phone. I'm going to get him on the phone right now. All right, anyway. So, I really, I mix up these paints and I don't even really have an order of how I'm going to put them on. So while I think about that, I'm going to look at the chat and see who's talking. Um, Linda, I've got some of the Extreme Sheen. They are thinner than my other paints. Not sure how to mix them. Um, yeah, so let me see here real quick. See, the, the Extreme Sheens for me are, I mean, they're still a craft paint, um, but they're thicker than, because they're metallic as well, they're thicker than a, a cheaper craft paint, say, an apple barrel, which I'm stealing Julie's, is bottom of the barrel. Um, <laughs> it is. It's a cheap craft paint, but I mean, for people that started out, that's, you know, it's fine. Everybody kind of has to start somewhere, so there's no judgment there. Um, I did, again, I still haven't got those. I don't even know where I put them. Anyway, always start out with and if you if you're having a cheaper cheaper craft paint that's really want runny, I would even start out with a half uh, one part paint to a half a part pouring medium. I mean, you don't have to put all your ingredients in the cup at once. It's okay for you to pour a little bit at a time, Linda. So I would suggest you do that and then see and maybe they're thin enough that you don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Other than using a premixed, I don't really because I don't have a lot of the cheaper. Um, I think I have like some Deco Art or Americana cheaper ones. I haven't used those in so long. I don't even know if they're still good. <laughs> I have to look and see. Oh, geez. All right. Um, absolutely. Uh, along with the swipe tools. Yes. I don't know if you have a swipe tools, Julie. I don't know. Oh, speaking of swipe tools, my good friend Kathleen Osmore did a video today. Um, and if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Of course, her work is amazing. She um, used my video or used my swipe tools in the video. And um, it's a great, of course, she, you know, she does great swipes. So I encourage you to go check it out. But again, she used my swipes and she loved them, my swipe tool. And I think I mentioned that we had talked last week and she wanted me to make her a bigger one. I think I showed it to you. For those of you that missed it, I'll show you guys again. This is an eight by nine, something like that. And this is the biggest that we can make it because this is how big our print bed is. Just a little bit bigger than this. It wouldn't let us make it any bigger. The machine uh, program wouldn't let us make it any bigger. So um, I actually did a painting yesterday. I think I sent that to Julie. And Julie has a swipe tool. Does she? She's one of the first ones to order. Oh, my bad. I Forgive me. I'm really sorry, Julie. I forgot. Listen, I have got so many orders, I can't remember. If I forget, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. You know my attention span. Zero. She sent me a video the other day, and I she expected me to watch it. It was like 30 minutes or something. I'm like, oh, Julie. I'm like, I'm not going to watch. I can't watch all this right now. She's like, yeah, I didn't either. My attention span's too short. Yeah, so is mine. But I ended up watching it. I did watch it. So um, anyway, this is what we're going to be working on. I don't know what if people are going to be interested in a size this big. So eventually it may be a make-to-order type of a product. Um, but it... I mean, if you're not that big into swipes, it's, you know, it's something that you got, got to kind of get used to, but once you do, it's super easy. So anyway, that's that. 
they work well. really good. I love that. Yeah, I'm getting to that. I love that you can just wipe it off and reuse it. There's no, not as much waste to the paper towels. And because I used to use a lot of baby wipes. I always loved swiping with baby wipes, but it got to be like, I had like this much handful of baby wipes. So this works out super good. Anyway, um, let's see really quick. Both you and Kathleen are so gosh darn sweet and talented. Aw, oh, thank you. Her. Kathleen is a sweet lady. She's getting ready to have her live auction next week. I think I'm going to be moderating. Um, I don't think I've told her yet. So if you're watching Kathleen, I'm moderating. Um, <laughs> and then um, Tammy's having an auction today too. Okay. Later. Go well, we'll yeah, maybe. Anyway, so. How much of a bottle of Jim Jim did you buy for this? How much? I use the full bottle when I make, I make a lot. So Linda, that was, it was a whole bottle. So what I did was I dumped all of it in here into my cup. Let me grab an empty cup. I just dumped the whole thing into the cup and then I try to hold it and let as much out. And what I do, well, first thing is I usually take, since I use Floetrol with this, I put a little bit of pouring medium, whatever it is you're using. Somebody's dreaming. <laughs> the dogs are dreaming, sorry. Um, I put a little bit of pouring medium in the bottom of my cup, just a touch, just to cover it. And then I dump my paint in. I put the whole thing in. So this is two ounces. And then I fill this up with whatever the pouring medium is. So in my case, Floetrol for this time. I dump half of it in. I give this a good shake, right? I mix this up that's in my cup. Then I dump the rest of that in. I give that a good stir, check the consistency. I fill this back up and I repeat that. I dump half of it back in, give this a good shake because there's a lot of paint left in there. People don't, well, I'm sure you guys realize that are acrylic pours, there's always the paint left in your containers. So I do that and then mix that up and then um, go from there. Now, again, everybody likes their consistency the way they like it. So that may be, since I did this one, it was two one part paint to two parts, a little bit more than two. So like just two and a smidge more. Um, you may like it to two and a half. It just depends. But again, one to one is the best way to start. That is one of the um, best advices, advices I can give you is one to one to start, especially when you're using a thinner paint. You don't want to dump everything in and then you're kind of SOL because you don't have any more of that color for one and then you don't have anything to thicken it. So if you, another uh, a way to thicken is a gel medium also works. So that's a good idea. And also I was, since I was talking about the Vallejo Pearl, this is thicker. This will thicken up your paints too. Now it's going to change it because it's going to lighten it for one and for two it's, um, going to turn it into pearl, a pearl paint, which is amazing. I have to say when I use the Payne's Gray mixed with this, oh, it was so good. It looked so good. And then I mixed it with the um, Soho Emerald Green. If you guys never use this, it's, um, it's such a pretty color, but it turned it just amazing, amazing. So I hope that was helpful. If not, Linda, I can go into it more. So um, Julie, why can't it be cut to size if someone wants a specific size you don't have? Oh, it can be. Oh, cutting the that itself. The, the only thing I I wouldn't suggest cutting it yourself, only because these have a perimeter when they're made. They have a separate perimeter, and then I don't want to get into our secrets um too much. But if you cut that, the stability of this and the, uh, what's the right word I'm trying to think of? Structural the structural role. <laughs> oh my God, that's a mouthful. The structural integrity, it may be compromised. That's a lot right there. Woo, do I sound like a, like I'm technical on all this. Um, so, I mean, you could give it a try. I haven't. I probably could because um, I have a bunch of, you know, test ones that we've done. Um, but again, this has like a, its own perimeter first. That's all I can, that's all I know. So, and cutting through the handle. I mean, it's not like it's thick, but 
Whatevs. Cut yours, Julie. Let me know. <laughs> we can make Kidding. We can, make we can try. We can do it. I have to make a bigger one to send to Kathleen anyway. Yeah. And then B Man here. Oh. B Man. Woohoo! I was just going to add, I used Artist Loft blending gel medium to thicken accidentally over thin paint. Exactly. I don't. And I, yes. I don't, um, I don't have the Artist Loft. I know Artist Loft makes it. I think I have the Golden is what I have. It's in a little tub somewhere in there, somewhere in the mix. I've got a gel medium. It works really good if you accidentally. It's a good thing to have on hand um, for those exact um, uh, instances. And it's if you buy the Artist Loft, it's not that expensive. It's like $3.99, $4.99. I, I haven't bought Artist Loft in a while in the in the tubes. I um, I've been buying just the, the flow acrylic. Will this be in your Etsy? Which, Which one? I'm not sure. Etsy. Eight by nine, or? Are you talking about the bigger one, Kathy? The eight by nine swipe tool. Uh, I'm sure she'll answer. Yeah. Very good. technical. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> not really. That's as technical as I can get on that. Cause really I help with the design of the, of the, the tool, the product, but he actually is the one that puts it into the computer and gets it to come out looking the way that it does. So thank God for that. Um, it's in a tub, eight ounce. Oh, that one's in a tub. Okay. The ones that I've seen were in um, a tube, but I know what she's talking about. Yeah. The blue sheet. That I'm not sure, Kathy, because I'm not sure how um, it's... It, it, I think I may have it listed as a made-to-order type of a deal, so a printed-on-demand kind of a thing, but I can't right now because um, I have one machine, and I can't I can't keep up. Uh, honestly, while I'm doing my live, every time I told you my, my watch is blowing up, I'm getting orders, so um, I've gotten probably 15 just before I started the live, plus what's been going on. So um, within a couple more weeks, I should have two more printers. So that should alleviate. And again, um, if I do list that, it will be made to order. So I, I can keep you guys posted on that. Um, and we do have other products in the works. Um, kind of just taking a minute to get um, designed. And um, and I've got several orders from Color Hype that, oh, Chelsea. Chelsea, I'm trying. I'm trying so bad to get keep up. But. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, especially about the 3D products, printed products, again, you can email me, you can uh, message me on Facebook, Instagram. My Instagram is not that big. I'm trying to grow that. So if you're interested, go check that out if you're more on the Instagram. What? Oh, what'd she say? Chris is the man. He is. We'll give him that. We'll give him that. He still doesn't know the difference between an apron and a smock, but we'll give him, we'll give him that part. Um. Anyway, so yeah, you can, you know, you can find me all over. You can message me on or, you know, comment on um, YouTube as well. I try to comment everything. I found the other day some comments from like two weeks ago. I don't know where they were. They just popped up. So even when I find old ones, I try to comment back so you guys don't think I'm jer a jerk because I'm not. I'm not a jerk. The man in a smock. <laughs> one day. One day, Julie. One day. Okay. Enough chatting. Well, we can keep chatting, but um, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. I still haven't. So I think I am just going to kind of willy-nilly the paints, if that makes sense, um, and then go from there. So I'm going to start with the, oh, I forgot to put the name. This is the Antique Bronze, I think. Yeah, this is the Antique Bronze. I normally write on my cups. That's why I like these paper cups. You can write, well, I mean, you can write on the plastic ones too. But the paper cups are super cool. Um, I can show you that later if I remember. Because when it dries, you can peel the dried paint out and you can recycle. I mean, I'm not a recycling crazy person. Not that you're, if you do recycle, you're crazy. Because um, I think as much, we should recycle as much as we can. Um, but these are good for recycling. That's all I'm going to say. Um, let's see. Jan, I heard mixed medium also works good for thickening paints. That product is on my February list January budget is already tapped out I got you there um I have not tried the mix medium I have heard of it maybe I'll have to check that out so I can do like a review or you know whatever for you guys 
Um, I'm, and I'm not even sure who makes that. So, but I know um, Julie Eber, I think, uses it and a couple others. So I'll have to check that. Uh, B-Man, who cares about a smock? The music edit guy with the printer is enough. Yes, true that. We should drink to that. Psh, drink to that. Because honestly, if it wasn't for him and his knowledge of that, technical, he's the technic guy, technical guy, there would be no 3D printed cups or swipe tools. <laughs> All right. And if you guys don't have any wine or something to drink, you should probably get some. I'm just saying. Everyone needs a drink. Um, the shepherds wear smocks. Have you got sheep? Oh, I would love sheep. Actually, I would love goats. I love goats. Anyway, um, my neighbor just got a little labradoodle. Actually, it's a golden doodle. It's a black golden doodle named Scully. Oh my gosh. I was loving on him before my live started and my dogs are going crazy. And we've got more guests. Hazel is standing again right between my legs. So I'm going to try to stand over her and pour this paint on at the same time. Hazel. I'm Hazel. Hazel. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm just going to start because... Just because. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of go all over. And because this is kind of, I mean, I hope it turns out good, of course. But just, you know, demonstrating the, the tools for you guys to see. And hopefully create something really pretty at the same time. We'll see. Hmm. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> right? Hazel loves her dad, so she's over there distracting him. He's the one that found her at the rescue. So he thinks that he wants her to be his puppy, but she's not. She's really mine. Uh oh, that looks, is that like a lump of something? That looked a little scary. I gotta check this out. No, it wasn't. Okay. Maybe it just came out a little faster at that time. <laughs> Jay Bird, hello. North Carolina. Never been. Maybe one day. I'd like to go visit there. There's a lot of places in this country I'd like to go visit. Just haven't. Haven't had the time, and now I don't have a lot of time. My mother probably wishes I would visit back in Ohio. <laughs> I would visit her. <laughs> I was going to, and then stuff happened, so that didn't work out. But I do still have my ticket. It's good for two years. So when everybody, you know, gets diagnosed with the coronavirus, you can't fly, and what's the point in going back? back home when I don't want to catch that. So there's that. Right? Oh. I know where you live. Yeah. I've got your address. <laughs> I've got some of your guys' addresses. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of stretch this a bit, kind of fill in those areas, because I don't want it to be too thick on here. And it's giving it a little bit of um, movement there, which is good. I don't want it to be boring. I mean, really, acrylic pouring usually isn't too boring because you never know what you're going to come up with, which is super cool and one of the reasons I love it, along with a few others. Helps keep me sane. It's a good expression. Yeah, it's, it's a good, fun way. Um, it should be, like, a prescription from, like, psychiatrists and stuff. Because honestly, honestly, sorry about my head being in the way there, but um, it's very good for your mental health, I think. You need to hear it more. <laughs> you don't want to hear what he's saying. He's talking crap back there. <laughs> oh, 
dropping stuff. Okay, I am loving that aquamarine is gorgeous. Awesome sauce. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to just tilt it just a bit up there. And then I'm going to go through the middle here with my um, Amsterdam. I got to get my swipe tools here. I'm not going to use the big one today. Um, I'm going to use, I think I'll use my six inch ones. Yeah, and then maybe have a variety. I'll use this one. All right. All right. Let me move these really quick because I need to make room to swipe on my on my paper. He's talking crap. No. Um, love those metallic colors. I know they're so pretty. Clearwater Beach. Yeah, I love Clearwater Beach. Um, I'm taking my paint and tools and moving to the Bahamas where it's nice and peaceful. Um, yeah, I remember, who was it that was in the Caymans? And she had a hell of a time, pardon my language, heck of a time getting stuff. Deb, she used to do acrylic pouring. What was her name? Oh, I watched all of her videos. Some of you that have been around for a while, Deb, I can't think of her last name right offhand. She was in the Caymans and she always had a heck of a time. Yeah, glasses. She did it. Yeah, acrylicpouring.com. Yeah, she and she got out of it. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see. I got a few cells developing there just from the the you know different paint densities. But these colors are so pretty. It reminds me of like a um. I know. I don't know. Oh me, me. I'm moving with you. What are you talking about? I'm going to the Bahamas too. We were there for our honeymoon. That well, that was a while ago, but we went there. Oh, I need to go back. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to pour this on. So, I didn't even mix it. We're going to just go with it. It's not coming out. There we go. I'm going to get more. Okay. And another thing, too, is you don't necessarily have to always pour it down the middle you can now i know it's harder with this but you can pour your paint in a bigger you know like a, a saucer and you could dip it and then i've done that before uh, with my smaller swipe tool so all right here we go and now what i do is kind of just put a little pressure now i will tell you the first one i always get like oh and i always hang off the edge just a bit See, I just did it every single first one I do. <laughs> but I can go back over that. And then, I don't know if you can, probably can't see in there, but this, you just wipe it right off, and then you're good to go, a little bit, a little bit good to go. And then you can overlap. That works pretty good. And I kind of give it, oh, man. You know, sometimes I don't mind that, honestly. Because it, it, who's here? Lori's waiting. Lori, hey Lori. I haven't seen you in a while. Heard ya. Those are pretty. Ooh, I like it. She's always comments on your shots. Yeah, she always does. Yes, I appreciate that, Lori. I appreciate every comment, honestly. You guys take your time out to comment on my stuff. It means a lot. And I'm not saying I'm. I mean, I mean, I really mean that. I'm not just saying that. I read them all. And if if there's some I miss, and he sees them, he's like, hey, you missed a comment. So he's on it too. So, all right. This looks super cool. It's kind of like um, me, Julie, and Dina are moving to the Bahamas. Yeah, we're going to have a party in the Bahamas, guys. Nope. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, so I think I normally don't do this, but I think I'm going to turn it. I normally, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll give it, we'll give it a go. That way you guys can see either way, either pulling it towards or away. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn it. You do what you want. Yeah. <gasps> I do what I want. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. I already hear it. I already know it. Those look super cool. 
I'm probably, I might do a little toe thing. I was going to go back over those areas, but I'm going to see first how this looks and then we'll go over it. He, listen to him, giving, giving me advice. Just let me do it. There we go. I always like when I wipe this off. I always have some cool <laughs> cells and designs on there. All right. That's looking pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, her painting was amazing as well. Yeah, she's sweet. She's just a sweet lady, that's for sure. Just a genuine, very genuine person. I like her a lot. One day, one day we'll get up there. When all this nonsense is hopefully been down to a I don't know. Done. Just done. Over with. We want it over. Now, I'm not putting enough pressure on there. You guys can see that. Okay. I'm going to use my smaller one for this one. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm going to overlap that. I think. Gonna add a little bit more right here. I just hear from you saying you're gonna want to win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to Minnesota in the winter. Ay ay ay. I do like hockey. I do like hockey. It's my fave. It's my favorite sport. I love hockey. I grew up watching it. I grew up going to the rinks and everything. All right, so I like this so far. I'm just going to give it a little tilt, I think. Just let it run off just a bit. I'm trying to get that part to run off, but I don't want to wreck it too much. Wow, Lady Man lives in Minnesota, too. Have you been everywhere, Barbara? She's been all over the place. Yeah, she was in her place in Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back this way. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm liking how that is looking. I don't know if I want to, I kind of want to add a line through the middle, but then sometimes I'm not sure because I don't want to wreck it. So we'll see, I'm going to let it, I'm going to look at it for a minute. The cells looks really pretty though. There's a lot more of the um, aquamarine on that side. And there we go. <laughs> Judy. And another a tip for you guys, too. I don't want to try. Um, if you have a straw, a lot of times when I do a swipe and you tilt and there's an area that you just need to have the paint go over just a little, just use your straw. It works really, really good. And you just kind of blow it over. Now, I would try to use my little leaf blower, but I think that's going to be too much. Um, too much, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use my straw. So I apologize if you're seeing my mop of hair. I might touch up this corner just a tad, or a touch, or a little bit, whatever you want to say. This corner looks a little iffy. I think I'm going to just get some of this. 
and use my palette knife and add a little bit to this corner here. There you go. And cover that. Let me see. And sometimes you can also like um, get some paint and it pull it down if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense to you guys um, it'll you touch it with the paint that you've got on your palette knife the other paint and it will kind of pull it down there we go there I just kind of spread them out a little and I think I like this. I think I like it a little bit. I want blue on that end. Try to find the color to match. And then cover those. <laughs> I like my sides to be covered nicely. Almost lost my straw in my painting. That would be no good. I'd have to do some more swiping on it, <laughs> probably. Let me see here. I'm gonna touch up this corner really quick like. There we go. There. Um. I guess I should look at the comments. I apologize, guys. I, sometimes I get into my work and then I thank goodness he's here to help answer. Um, Dad worked for IBM. I've been moved. Ah, okay. I live in Michigan. That says it all. I was born there. Um, is that crafty? Crafty, yeah, we both have. Well, I was born there. He lived there. I lived there till I oh. was what? Maximus. Maximus wants to be heard. Um, I was born in Detroit. I lived in all over. Howell, Harrison, um, Livonia. I have family in Livonia. So, yeah, we got family everywhere. I've got family still there. Dearborn Heights, Troy, Taylor, uh, other places. I don't know. They're all over. Um, Let's see. Thanks. Didn't want to leave chat to check. Where is he checking? Oh, Etsy store. Very pretty swipe. I'm hoping I'm hogging the chat. It's yeah, all right. Really? It's all right. Undead Creed. What is that? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's tagging a friend of his that oh, likes that German she. Guy? No, no, it's oh, a, a girl that that was started watching my videos. So, all right. So I think I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know what if I want to leave that middle. That looks good. I think I might leave it. I know there's a little bit more black here, but you can also. Um, I think it may close up a bit. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more to the middle to kind of create separation, but I kind of like how that's looking. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I really like how these cells, the, um, uh, something about the, you know, the combination of the Amsterdam paint and the, um, metallic paints, they just have a mind of their own and they do their own thing. So I'm going to take my palette knife real quick and clean up the bottom. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, that's probably true. Maximus, what are you doing, buddy? Is it dinner time? Yeah, it's dinner time. No wonder he comes in here. He always lets me know when it's dinner time. Buddy. I don't know if your guys' puppies, kitties do that. Let you know if, they, if they're on like a schedule. Because mine sure let me know. Like, um, mom, it's time to eat. I did a painting once. I'm trying to think once before where I used kind of these colors. It looked more like Native American. I kind of get the vibe from that. What do you think? What do you guys think? A Native, Native American vibe? 
What? You're not listening. Oh, he's loving on Hazel. What do you think? I know. Well, I'm just saying it kind of has a Native American-ish type of thing. Just the colors. Yeah, the turquoise. It's pretty. Well, it's more of an aquamarine. Yeah. But it's still pretty. Anyway, there's that. I've got a lot of leftover paint. Woohoo! I'll be doing something else with that. I don't know if I'll be doing another swipe, but I definitely will be um, doing some. That aquamarine is so pretty. Maybe I'll try to recreate my open cup that I did with that. I did a recreation video with my swipe. My most watched was a horrendous. <laughs> I mean, it was okay at the time. I my level you know everybody that's a thing too with acrylic pouring everybody's at different levels so sometimes you when you first do stuff you're like oh that's super cool and then three years later you look back and you're like what the hell was i thinking so i mean when people especially people in the group um or any group anybody that posts their artwork you know if you don't like it you don't have to be a jerk face about it right you can give constructive criticism without being a jerk face um, and, and I think people really respond more to that than, Hey, I think that sucks. Send. No, don't do that. That's not very nice. Cause you wouldn't want someone to do that to you. So if someone asks your opinion, give your honest opinion, but do it in a nice way. And I try to make sure that my group, I don't really have, I've not had, a, had to kick anybody out for, for that. I had to kick some out for being negative Nancy's against a couple of my friends um and you don't do that you don't you don't do that but we're pretty good we're pretty drama free so again if you're not a member go join it's a great it's a great group i think i'm gonna probably have more members in my group than i am subscribers soon um so you guys need to tell your friends you need to subscribe you need to subscribe to my channel this is really cool i don't know if you guys yeah you can still see that can we can we zo zoom in a bit yeah, there you go. That's it. No. Okay. Oh, did I go too far? Turn the dial. Wrong way. The other dial. Oh, oh, this one? Yeah. I don't know what that does. Turn the other dial. No, not that one. It's a small one. That is a small one. Never mind. Just turn the dial. Oh, just turn the dial. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay. I was trying to show you something, but, you know, I'm not very good with this stuff. Um, In here, it's really pretty because it's the copper over top of that Sahara gold. And it looks really, really pretty. Now I did lose a bit of my, um, well, most of the uh, antique bronze, which I love, but uh, yeah, I'm actually liking this one. I think it's um, pretty uh, amaze balls. I haven't said that in a while. Amaze balls is another good word. It's one of my favorite words as well. I have a couple of other favorite words, but they're inappropriate for here. <laughs> I use them when I can, anytime I can, but I can't use them today. All right, so I'm going to sit down and we can chat some more. I'm going to look at this painting real quick. I need to make sure that I don't have any drips. You know, sometimes those drips sneak up on you and then they pull your paint to one side. I don't know either. I'll look in a sec. I gotta check this out real quick. Sorry guys, you're probably seeing my middle section there. My apron. Cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Oh. Whew. Let me see. Super cool. Thank you, Melody. Thanks for the tutorial, Tracy, and thanks for the human connection, everyone. Much appreciated. You're welcome, Jan. I know, um, yeah, right now I know, I mean, I'm in Florida, so we aren't as um, locked down as some of the other parts of the world. Um, and I know, you know, some of the other places are like in heavy lockdown. So I do, I know this is, for me, if that was me, I would want that. I know it would be helpful. So I'm glad that uh, we're able to do this and um, help help keep you guys connected because it could it could definitely you know, not be good for some people. So I, I understand that. I'm just glad that we're, we're not where I am. I know other states in the U.S. are, are, and, um, you know, so anyway, I just hope that, um, this is over soon and everybody can get back to 
whatever normal is going to be. I hope it's <laughs> I hope it's soon for everybody's sake or everybody's going to be day drinking, all day drinking. <laughs> um let's see. Uh thanks for tutorial, Deborah. Is that a reverse? Reverse swipe? It's a regular, just a middle swipe. Um only supermarkets open and takeaways. So I mean, I guess at least, you know, I mean, it's a good thing the supermarkets are open. You got to get your food. Um, let's see. Dang, your hair got long. It did, Barbara. Believe me, I wanted to chop it a bunch of times. Hey, the fight's going on, Hazel. I think Hazel's getting hungry. Oh, here she is. Here's Hazel. Oh, oh. this is her love because she's like, Mom, I'm starving. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and here's Freya. These both are jealous. I call them the jelly beans. Because when one jumps up, the other one jumps up. So, all right, Bray. Okay. Oh, Freya, Freya. Okay, mom's busy. <laughs> mom's busy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll eat in a little bit. We'll eat in a little bit. Oh my gosh. Look. Hazel, mom's got to work. Mom's got, mom's busy. Oh, sorry about that. They're quite demanding at times. They're quite demanding at times. Oh, gee. Um, let's see, Lori. Oh, Lori's in Canada. I didn't know that. Canada's going a little bit crazy. Yeah, Canada's a little, yes. Well, I mean, I've got opinions a lot. I've got a lot of opinions. We'll just keep it, you know, whatever. Um, so tired of the virus. Yes. We all are. Yes, we all are. No matter how you feel about it, I think we're all just tired of it, honestly. So, um, those are humongous. I'm not sure what's humongous. Puppies? The puppies? Are you talking about the puppies? They're big. They're big girls. They're big girls. Right, Hazel. That's why I call Hazel fat. <laughs> I just call her fat anymore. I'm like, come here, Hazel, fat. Come. And she she responds because you know Hazel. I don't think she really cares. She's a sweetie. Yeah, they both is. they Hazel. they all are. Maximus I think gets the short end of the stick because he's short. He's short. Well, and he's chunky too. But his sisters are um, they just push him around. The cat pushes him around, for gosh sakes. He's hilarious on our sectional. It's huge. And so Chris and I are at one end. And then Hazel and Freya are... Oh, she's getting pain on her tail. Um, Hazel and Freya are usually next to me or on me or with Chris or whatever. And then Maximus is somewhere. And then the cats lay on the back of the sectional. So the very end is where Toby lays on the, the back. Maximus, every time he jumps up, Toby like whack, whack. And then he gets up hey, and then he Maximus. takes off. So That's it's right. funny as heck. So now he looks when he wants to jump up onto the end of the sectional. He looks at me and then he looks up at the sectional and then he looks at me like I'm supposed to do something. So I usually help him get up or I hold Toby so Toby doesn't whack him. It's a fun, it's the funniest thing. That cat's a pain, a pain in the butt. Um, Deborah has a Maximus. Woohoo! Or a hoagie. Hoagie. My power is running out. Thanks for being here for us. Good night. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. I'm glad that you could join us for a while. I power. hope you have a great day. I'm not sure if they are allowed so much power. I don't know if your power, maybe her phone is going dead or something. Uh, you plug it in. Maybe they're only allowed so, to use so much. I don't know. California does that, right? Aren't you allowed to only use so much? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works in other parts of the country. I mean, how so? Because um, <gasps> don't tell me that. She has a polydactyl cat named Toby. So do I. Is he orange? No way. That's crazy. Except I spell his name T O E B I E for the extra toes. But he's a polydactyl as well. He's a stinker. Yeah, he's awesome. That's great. My Max is a white mini poo. Oh, that's cute. A little fluff ball. Like a little cotton ball. So what, cute. What a Maine Coon is yeah, the next wanna... kitty that we want Maine if Coon. we get one. I'm getting Dolores next, wow. which is my Great Dane. I will be getting Dolores. So. Oh, she oh, her iPad. Okay, I wasn't sure, Linda. Sorry, but some places they limit your... California, your California limits your um usage, your power, your water... It's a little craziness. Like you can only use oh, okay. between this time and this time, and it's like 
what do they call that where they like they do with your Wi-Fi? They throttle it or whatever. Yeah, I don't wow. I don't know. I I'm in Florida, so I don't I don't have that. We don't have that here. So anyway, I'm glad it's just that your iPad is low and it's not that you're gonna lose power everywhere <laughs> in the whole house. So just go charge your iPad, Linda. Oh Lord, and I'll probably be live. I don't know if I'll be live That's next week. Right. Maybe we'll see. If not, for sure, then the following. Um, it depends on how deep I am into 3D printed orders because it's starting. I mean, it's starting to go nuts, guys. I do appreciate it, and I do want to tell you guys too that if, again, if there's something that on my Etsy store, I'm taking a peek real quick, that says it's out of stock, it will be back in stock soon. Um, you can message me if you want. I can give you a time frame. Again, I do have two big orders. Well, that would be four. Two, two big orders to go to color hype. So um, I, um, I've got partial order on one and the other one I keep trying to put in the order and then we keep getting more. So I may have to hold off on the Etsy order and get hers filled uh, first because she's, Chelsea's great. If you I know I've talked about the color height paint before, and she actually is starting a um, kit. So she has different kits this year. She's starting the um, split cup kit, so it's Julie's super cool. Fine. Julie's leaving. All right, Julie. Great live. I'll have a great week. Everyone stay safe, healthy, happy. During I'm out. Chat with you later. I'm sure you will. I will talk to you another time, and I'm glad you stopped by. Bye, Julie. And Linda, I will see you too. Oh, Deborah's got to go cook dinner. Oh, a roast is in the steamer. And yeah. she's got to go do that. So thank you, Deborah, for stopping by as well. I do appreciate it. This one turned out super cool. I'm pretty happy with this, um, the second one more than the first one so much. But I do love a good split cup too. So, mm. Pressure cooker with God, I don't even know when I when was the last time I've used a pressure cooker. <laughs> what did she say? Bye, Julie. I trained my husband to shop, cook, and clean. I my husband does that too, but if he cooks, it's dominoes. Which that's not all bad. It just gets a little pricey when you're spending, you know, thirty to forty, fifty dollars a night on pizza. <laughs> Especially with a teenager. Wait, he, yeah, he's still a teenager. An adult now, teenager. And I use that term loosely. Love you if you're watching. <laughs> I use that term quite loosely. Adult teenager. Anyway. Oh, Lord. So I suppose if you guys don't have any more questions, I should probably go feed these guys. Because um, they get a little rowdy, as you saw. Get a little crazy. And I'm surprised that Mittens isn't here stalking me. She usually just comes and sits by me and then stares. And it's like the death stare. If I don't get her food, she's going to come after me in my sleep. So, what? Is it time to eat? What is it? Okay. All right, guys. Maximus was going to start talking. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for hanging out with me. Like I said, if you need any of the 3D printed stuff, if it's out of stock, it will be back in stock soon. You can message me on Etsy. You can message me on Facebook, on YouTube, at, you know, all the platforms. Instagram, I've got all the places you can in, uh, message me. And um, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, taking time out of your day. And I'm going to say good night to everybody. Have a good night. And have a good week, and hopefully I'll see you again next weekend.